for a day Got covered with some gooey ooze That changed my DNA Now I try to act normal, keep my cool While other kids play after school I turn into a prehistoric hero I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Today on Dino Squad, Max is infected by an ancient mutated virus, and the Dino Squad learns how dangerous global warming can be. Ah, oh, I do so love global warming. These environmental changes are much better suited to dinosaurs and less viable for the pathetic human monkeys that swarm the Earth. Plus, it introduces so many new, or should I say, very old biological specimens that may be useful to me. We shall soon see if any of it will respond to a fine dusting with the new gradient of primordial ooze. Funny, I could have sworn we were playing too. Max, I'm open! I'm open! <laughs> Maxwell shoots! Maxwell scores! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice win, everybody. Win, win. win. What's wrong? We just won the game. You mean you just won the game? Huh? Caruso's right, Maxwell. We've talked about this. You need to pass more, move the ball around, set up the plays the way we run them at practice. But coach, I had the ball. I made the baskets. We won the game, right? Basketball is a team sport. That means it's supposed to be played by a team. Look, Maxwell, you want to control the game? Good, that's your job. You're the point guard. Control the game. But the best way to control the game is to rely on the team instead of trying to do it all yourself. I hear you, coach. But we won the game, right? Oh. Hear you loud and clear, Mother Source. We're on our way. The satellite scans just picked it up a little while ago. A small island off Greenland. The signal is very faint and possibly some kind of plant life. You kids go home and get a good night's sleep. We'll check this out in the morning, bright and early. What's with the monkey suit? I thought our trip to the Arctic would be a great photo op to get some snaps of me dressed like this, standing with a bunch of penguins. Trey chic. But there aren't any penguins in the Arctic. Penguins are in the Antarctic. But there are walruses. Maybe you should have put on a walrus suit instead. Now that'd be a kick in photo op. All right, now that's settled. I'll meet you kids at the <sighs> island. You have all the coordinates. I just have to stop and pick something up. <laughs> Hmm. Let's crank on this mess. Fiona, take the southern end of the island. Caruso, you deuce to the east. Roger, cover the spot closest to shore. And Buzz, you take that rocky cove over there. But that leaves more than half the island. And I am so on it. Let's go. Ball hog. It's chilling and spilling time. Man, I didn't know I could work up such a sweat doing a little de-oozing. Ugh. Hey, Fee, it works better if you hold the de like this, see? Spray in an even pattern, Roger. Pick up the pace, Buzz. 
angle the chiller a little higher for maximum defusing. Watch, like this. Well, that's it. Finished. Finito. The island is cleaned up. Nice job, team. Max, you gotta chill a little. Yeah, you're kinda going over the top with this whole doing it yourself thing. What's the matter? Don't you think we can handle it? No, I. I don't know. I was just doing it and having fun. You sure you weren't operating under a whole kind of if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself mentality? Yeah, exactly. I mean, no. Wait, that's not right. Not. Well, maybe a little, but that wasn't what I was thinking. It certainly comes across that way. Well, maybe. A little, but you guys gotta admit, it's not totally wrong. I mean, look at our track record. Sometimes you guys can be a little flaky. I mean, Caruso, remember the time you stopped in the middle of a DU's to fix your hair? <laughs> Buzz, you wanted to take the arachnosaurus home before you deused it. What? And Roger, you spent so much time perfecting some gadget to capture that mousasaur that it got away, and we spent three days tracking it down. So I think there's a little justification in my thinking. But your whole control freakiness is kind of holding the rest of us back. Yeah, Max. Pass the ball once in a while. In life, not just in basketball. I mean, you know what I mean. Walrus! Yeah, Buzz, I get it. Walruses have big tusks and live in the Arctic. No, no, walrus. Giant mutinosaur walrus. Walrusosaur, there! We've got incoming, huge incoming. Protect yourselves. Go, Go Dino! Dino! Don't worry, I got it. Something's... something's wrong. I don't feel so good. Ugh. You never told us you had a submarine, Ms. M. This is off the charts. And off the radar, thanks to a few little modifications I made. Tell us about it. Yeah, please. Techno geeks. I'll tell you all about it on the way to sick bay. I'm fine. Really? Someone is running a high fever. I just got a little dizzy. Like I said, sick bay. This way, trust me, Mother Saurus knows best. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Well, Max, it seems you ran into a monster much bigger than the walrusosaur, a virus. And from my preliminary scans, it seems to be an ancient virus that has lain dormant under all that ice for tens of thousands of years, triggered and augmented into regrowth by Vic's primordial ooze. Hey, Caruso, I don't hear you begging Max to pass the ball on this one. Yeah. The big primordial ooze enhanced nasty virusness ball. No, thank you. He can hog that one all he wants. Too late. This one he shared. Everyone has been exposed, and we need to do something right away. I can't risk taking you to a regular physician or hospital until we know how to contain the spread of this virus. 
Fortunately, my old colleague, Dr. Patricia Anro, is a viral specialist. She should be able to help us via computer. With Dr. Pat's input, we should be able to develop an antivirus serum and an inoculation that should nip this thing in the bud. Fiona, you'll need to resize the coupling to be able to attach the dino boat to the Mothersaurus one. Buzz, Caruso, I'll need you to disinfect everything that Max has touched. Roger, get tracking that mutant sore. Tracking a 15-ton walrus sore? Piece of large tusk blubber cake. Turn the dirigible around and head to these coordinates. I'm picking up a powerful signal. It's big. This could be very useful. There. Dr. Pat calculated the vaccine and the dosage for each of us based on age and body weight. That'll stop that virus in its tracks. <gasps> that can't be the mutant sword. I've got him trapped. That's not a dino alert. That's a Velocity alert. It's going to be close. You four have to deuse that poor walrusosaur before Vic can get his talons into him. Then we'll meet up here. Whoa! Anybody missing a leg? Because we have an extra one here. Huh? huh? Oh, and check it out. It's attached to a whole extra person. Hi, guys. You know I couldn't let you do this on your own. Hurry! Velocity's on his way! Go! It's those perfect dinosaurs. Oh, man. Maybe I should have stayed on the submarine. I don't feel well. Well, get that stupid walrus mutant. Get that perfect T-Rex now. Now! Turn us toward home base. We can leave those others, for we have captured the real prize. This specimen will set my work ahead a hundred years in one day. This is not good. I mean, this gives not good a whole new meaning. All right, Caruso, we get it, but we need to think of a plan. We had better include de-using that walrus's sword into the program, too, before it goes traveling off somewhere and eats a ship or something. I've got that covered. I added underwater chillers and spillers to this boat. Good. Maybe we can do both at the same time. Ms. M, are you listening? Right here, son. Can you interface with the controls on Velocity's dirigible and transfer them to my handheld? I think I have an idea. Interfacing with the controls of the dirigible now. Roger, you should have the helm. Put the ship on autopilot. I need both of you up here. I want to prep this dinosaur for study immediately. I'm turning the dirigible back towards us. Go get him, Buzzbird. Go, Dino! Velocity see me for who I really am. This will be a great day. Prepare the specimen. Buzz is in. I'm finishing the turn. Sir, 
There's a pretty big gash back here. It could have been made by that Tyrannodon. All right, here we go. Now or never. to rescue me. It's too dangerous not to. Come on! are in trouble. I'm picking up some seriously scary images on my cold-blooded scanning optical alert and monitoring device. Enough with the excessively worded device name, Roger. Just help them. Right. I'm on it. If I turn just now. Come on. Time to make our exit. them escape. I had the T-Rex. I had it. No. No. <sighs> Don't you know it's not nice to fool Mother Saurus? You should never have snuck out like that. I'm really sorry. I was so stupid. I owe you all an apology. When Velocity had me trapped, I finally understood what a big mistake it was for me to try to be in charge all the time. I should have trusted you guys more. Yeah, then we wouldn't have had to rescue your sorry backside. Sorry is the word. I should have known I could always rely on you. Like Coach said, sometimes the best way to control a situation is to rely on the team, on your teammates, rather than trying to do it all yourself. You know, pass the ball. Figuratively speaking, of course. What's wrong, Fee? You okay? I'm glad we worked everything out, but I can't help thinking about that virus and how it was kind of just sleeping under all that ice. And then wham, out of nowhere, a little primordial ooze and it's alive. Talk about something you couldn't control. And all that ice melting, the climate changing, it just freaks me out. What's next? Stuff we haven't even thought of. I mean, it all seems a little hopeless. It's not hopeless, Fee. We're not alone. There are plenty of people who care and who are working hard to do something about the problem. Hmm. This virus has promise. Global warming has potentialities even I haven't dreamed of. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. You don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Change my DNA. 